of Nod. This is the end, or at least the beginning of the end. Huge announcement out of EA Los Angeles today. After nearly 15 years of exciting RTS action, the Tiberium storyline comes to an epic conclusion with Command and Conquer 4. The new game is currently in development, as many fans have been speculating, and is shaping up to deliver an entirely new experience to fans of the franchise. I can tell you firsthand that this game looks awesome. It's going to give you a new way to play Command and Conquer. More depth and strategy with the classic fast and fluid gameplay. A class-based faction system. Constant player progression in every game mode. Revamp multiplayer and co-op modes and... One darn cool producer to boot. Yes, this is a project I've been working on for months now. A thank you. And the EA centers have finally decided to let me out of my cage. But it's not just me who's doing the talking. Oh, no. We've let campaign story lead Sam Bass out of hiding as well. What's next for a Tiberium riddled Earth? All questions will be answered when Mr. Bass arrives in studio July 24th. Speaking of new stuff, all of us here at BCPT thought we'd bring you a little something new as well. You'll just have to check back July 24th for our full episode to find out what that is. Be sure to keep sending us your fan art suggesting who should replace David Silverman as my co-commander. The winners will be revealed on that show as well. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash BCPT. Or via APOC, the little guy gets lost in crowds easily, so Twitter is really the only way to follow him. Soon we'll also be on Facebook, and as always, you can follow all the latest CNC news at commandandconquer.com. For Battlecast Primetime, I'm Raj Joshi, and until the 24th, I'll see you on the battlefield. Battlecast Primetime is brought to you by AMD, the future is fusion.